Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Tracing. I was coming to you live from downtown Bangkok, guys. And this is our uh, evening time market update, guys. So it's a great time to be live. And we're seeing that the market is starting to move up right now. So that is pretty bullish from that perspective. So let's hopefully that uh, this will continue and that we'll continue to go up. So I'm uh, pretty excited that hopefully they will have a good weekend rally. And uh, we got lots to talk about, guys. Do you have a plan? Do you absolutely have a plan out there? And will we see the plan come to fruition? Will we see Bitcoin go up? Will we see a Dogecoin go up? Or the markets continue to dump? So we're going to talk about that and much, much more, guys. So it's a great time to be alive. Let's jump into the content. Remember, none of this is financial advice. Just an OG in the house expressing your opinion. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. Let's get it right now. Woo, hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Trade Sales coming to you live, live from Bangkok. Uh, Bangkok, guys, Bangkok, Thailand, almost, almost at Bangkok, Vietnam. Like, what's going on with me? And we got lots to talk about. Looks like we have another crypto exchange based out of Singapore has failed, and they're also shutting down all the withdrawals out there. So, this is big breaking news. Uh, it's happening in Singapore, just like happened. So, you know, this is just more and more evidence out there that, you know, if you don't have your, uh, you, if you don't have your crypto on a hardware wallet, or on a software wallet, you could be in big, big trouble, guys. So, guys and gals, I don't want to be a, a you know a broken tape recorder out there. But I'm telling you right, right now, you've got to secure your crypto, guys. I'm not kidding out there. You've got to secure your crypto. Do it right now. And the only way you can do that is move it to a software wallet, a hardware wallet. And, you know, a software wallet, like I keep saying, Exodus is the simplest out there. It's really, really easy. If you're a newbie or even an experienced person, Exodus is so simple, guys. Then you've got MetaMask, you've got Trust Wallet, you know, Mycelium, there's a whole bunch of search for it. But, you know, from my perspective, you know, uh, Exodus is really simple. And guys and gals, if you want to have the ultimate in security, guys, do and go and get a, a, a Nano Ledger, guys. Get a Nano Ledger or follow my link down below. Check out the links, guys. Remember, everything you're seeing here is not financial advice, guys. It's just OG expressing his opinion. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. You guys absolutely know that if you've been watching for a long time. And if you're new to the channel, guys, please go down there, subscribe, and boop the likes and comment. Let's feed the algorithm, guys. Let's feed the algorithm. So what's your plan, guys? Absolutely, what is your plan? You know, as we see, you know, cryptocurrency and exchanges failing and lending platforms failing. What is your plan out there? What are you going to do to secure your crypto, to secure your future, guys? Because, you know, if you have your life savings against some of these platforms and they go down, 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 you could be, you could end up with nothing, guys. So it's so important that you guys take steps right now. Take steps to secure your crypto. If you don't control the private keys, you absolutely do not control your crypto, guys. So it is so important that you do that. If you're not doing that and you, and, and, and something goes wrong, with you know where you're keeping or wherever your crypto is living if it's on a centralized exchange or it's on a, on a lending platform you could be in big trouble guys you could lose everything because you know you've got to read the fine print of your user agreement guys and i'm telling you they all the fine print says if they go bankrupt they go out of business they don't have to give you your money get back guys so remember it's not regulated it's not it's not fdic insured so please please i'm begging you wake up out there so it's a great time to be alive so guys and gals let's show me the content without any further delay remember crypto is a jungle right now because we're seeing that we're in a bear bear market you know a lot of the knuckleheads a lot of the bad products are being washed out right now and you're sure over the long term this is going to have a very beautiful calming effect out there and uh you know it's going to make crypto whole again it's going to get rid of all the stupidity out there and all the knuckleheads and all the idiots guys so if you're an idiot and uh, you don't know how to do risk management if you're a platform or lending platform you go out of business that's your fault but don't take do not take my crypto do not take my community's money guys so that's why i'm telling you get your money off centralized and uh exchanges right right now you know darn tootin do it right, right now guys so guys do go back and watch all my other uh videos we appreciate it guys and also we're doing some shorts guys we're just doing some shorts kind of like you know spicing things out add a little bit of spice out there so right now we're seeing the fear and greed is unchanged from where it was this morning we're seeing right now the fear and greed out there is a 14 guys so buy the fear buy the fear guys it's absolutely a great time to be buying the fear and dollar cost averaging so you know life changing wealth is happening right in front of our eyes guys so hopefully you like the little bit of an intro it's kind of a in, here in bangkok in the park with the, so i just get, get a little bit of a, uh, an intro guys so we're seeing right now that bitcoin is up about 2.16 percent. so that is good guys absolutely good 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 so so far we're seeing to be having a bit of a pump it up monday and happy independence day to all my brothers and sisters out there in america land and hello everybody in europe guys and we're seeing that ethereum is up right now 1.22 percent we're seeing that the, that the bnb beast coin right now is up about 11.72 percent as well sorry that's all 1.72 percent i'm blind as a bat i'm blind as a bat the og needs to get glasses so you know this just in it looks like vault 
you know, Vol uh, halts client withdrawals and hires advisors for potential restructuring out there. So it looks like, uh, as of today, it looks like uh, Vol, a Singapore-based crypto trading and lending platform with operations in India, has suspended withdrawals today out there. And the firm has also hired a legal team uh, and financial advisors for potential restructuring options. It sounds like bankruptcy to me. And they've also said that, you know, the, uh, the, the CEO, whatever, I can't say his name, sorry out there, brother, uh, in a blog post when he said the firm has made a difficult decision. It sounds like everybody, like Celsius, uh, Voyager, and all said, we made a difficult decision. Difficult for who? Difficult for who? Difficult for you or difficult for the, uh, the cu your customers? I think it's more difficult for your customers, right? Because they don't have access to crypto, guys. So stop saying it's a difficult decision. It's not a difficult decision. It's the only decision you can make out there, you knuckleheads. So, you know, I'm just saying these landing platforms, they're going insane, guys. And they're taking your money, guys. Absolutely taking your money. Secure your crypto. Secure your crypto. If you don't secure your crypto and you lose your crypto, you only have you, you, and you to blame out there in YouTube land. So guys, wake up. I'm not going to warn you one more time. I don't want to hear anybody in the comments beat me up. Hey, uh, I can't get access to my crypto. It's your fault. I've been warning everybody. I've been warning everybody since the Luna debacle to do this. Guys, wake up, guys. So, you know, basically the vol has been struggling financially due to a combination of factors, including volatile market conditions, financial difficulties of business partners, according to uh, the CEO. Since June 12th, the platform has seen withdrawals of nearly 198 million, triggered by the implosion of Terra USD and Celsius' decision to halt withdrawals at three hours capital wills, said uh, the CEO. So, it looks like once again, you know, you know, overlanding, overlanding out there has been the been the huge, huge uh, risk on uh, problem, and people have just been over leveraging these. All these lending platforms, what they've been doing is if they've, they've been suckers, guys, because what they haven't done is they haven't taken into account, uh, you know, risk management. They haven't they haven't kept enough cash on the sidelines to overt a crash, guys. And you know what they've been doing is they've been also using uh, different lending platforms and and uh, CFI out there to her earn huge AP, APYs and they've locked in their crypto. Sure, they might be getting the APYs, but the value of their the crypto that's locked in there is, is worth like 90% less right now. So they should have, they should have plan and predicted that this could happen and they should have taken consequences they absolutely didn't shame on all of you out there shame on voyager shame on celsius shame on vault out there and you know i feel so sorry for the users out there so that is not good news and else looks like uh, binance chief growth officer leaves the company after nearly five years uh in the company and he, he basically said that you know he's leaving the company uh because he wants to spend more time with his family yada 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 whatever he really hasn't cited where he's moving to that hasn't uh, been uh, uh, come to light yet so that's a bit of a blow for finance because this guy is one of the original guys with finance and he's uh you know the the chief uh, the chief what do you call it? the chief growth officer out there so it looks like they're gonna have to find another growth officer so cz if you're watching OG's available, guys. Hook me up. Call me, guys. DM me. I'll be there like Flynn, guys. So it's a great time to be alive. So right now, we're seeing that the volume for uh, searches for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and NFTs, uh, you know, they kind of they kind of, they kind of peaked out in the middle of June, and they've been going down ever since. So this is kind of indicative that a lot of the retail investors, from my perspective, if the searches are not there, it looks like the retail investors have been washed out, and they're, I mean, they're just out of there. They might be sitting on the sidelines. I don't know about that, uh, but definitely we're still seeing that institutions like you know, I had uh, Kathy Wood uh, this morning from ARK Investment. She's seeing that crypto is looking pretty positive in the long term. And, uh, you know, this, these, all of these bad companies out there that have just uh, collapsed and gone down, did, 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 down, down. In the long term, this is good for crypto. It's going to wash out all the idiots out there. So from that perspective, it is what it is. Also, some other bad news. Looks, looks like Peter Schiff uh, has a bank in Puerto Rico. And it uh, looks like his bank has been forced to be closed by the regulators out there. So regulators have uh, closed down Schiff's bank for not maintaining a net minimum capital requirements as a result customers lost access to their accounts following subsequent freeze guys so it looks like uh, peter schiff uh, took to twitter and says despite no evidence of crimes puerto rico regulators closed my bank anyway for net capital issues rather than allow a sale to a highly qualified uh, buyer promises uh, promising to inject capital so I don't know what's going on, but Peter Schiff, you know, you know the banking regulations. You got to, uh, you know, have a, a minimum amount of capital. If you don't do that, you don't qualify, and they're going to shut you down, guys. So it is what it is, Peter. So stop griping, stop whinging, stop whining, guys. You should have known the business. Get out of town and get a life. Peace.
Peter Schiff out there. What's your problem? And, uh, you know, this is coming in breaking, breaking. Visa to launch no limit Bitcoin card in UAE. So that is great, guys. I mean, you can go out and buy a Rolls Royce, a Learjet, a uh, Bugatti out there or whatever, you know, Lambo out there with your Visa card. It's got no limit. It's got no limit, guys. It's going to be tied to a Bitcoin. So it looks like the UAE is becoming a very much a crypto friendly country. That is a great time. That's why the OG, I'm, I've been thinking about that, taking a family out to UAE out there because it's tax friendly. It's crypto friendly and it's friendly out there and it's pretty modern right so it's pretty cool from that perspective i've been thinking about it so it looks like you know if you take a look at the gold fractal uh you know from from uh, from where it is at 2018 to 2020 uh, and we see the you know one two three uh peaks and valleys out there we could be seeing something pretty similar to bitcoin if we overlay the fractal out there and in 2020 we did see that uh, you know from two, august 2018 to where we did now we did see that gold did go uh, on a tear right now so if bitcoin follows the same kind of pattern if we take a look at where bitcoin is right now from 2021 to right where we are now the pattern is looking very eerily similar so that means we could be seeing you know at least a forty three thousand uh, dollar bitcoin coming in by the end of the year so i'm hoping that's going to be happening and it looks like you know this is also coming in as well uh, this is from uh, Moustache and Allison. Every time Bitcoin shorts have re been rejected at the blue line, uh, BTC always has uh, risen by several thousand dollars. In retrospect, a few examples in the green. So basically, we see that every time uh, you know BTC shorts uh, basically get rejected below, rejected the blue line, we have to see a pumpity pump. So we we saw that you know went from seven to fourteen k uh, when it got rejected. Here we seen from thirteen to sixty k, and then here we had the fallout, and then we're seeing it again. And hopefully, we could get. A, another upside so i'm hoping we can get some upside some pumpage happening for bitcoin because definitely bitcoin needs to be getting some pumpage out there so right now we can see that you know there's only about uh, two million mines two million bitcoin to be mined guys so like i said you know, Bitcoin is going down in terms of uh, going down in terms of available Bitcoin available. And, uh, you know, when the two million uh, Bitcoin is mine, it's, it's gone forever. So that's why the scarcity and the demand is going to make Bitcoin, in my opinion, worth, uh, you know, it could be as high as, you know, $500,000 by 2030, if not sooner, guys. So that's why I, I'm, I, you know, I'm putting a lot of money into Bitcoin right now. I'm going to be dollar cost averaging on Thursday as well. So this from uh, this is from uh, Wash Theory, Wash, Wash Gloria now, and he says, my Bitcoin worst case scenario if you ask me where Bitcoin price would go in a case of ultimate fear and panic and you know that's aliens landing on planet earth and you know the end of doom and gloom scenario and he says 10k so that's what I said yesterday I said absolutely yesterday that the worst case from my perspective for bitcoin doom and gloom aliens land on the planet earth could be 10k guys and you know on the on the monthly ichimoku chart shows net strong support uh, the ssb uh and, and the strongest line of the, the ichimoku system so right now we're seeing that you know bitcoin is not looking pretty good not looking good right now and uh, from that perspective we could be seeing bitcoin could be going down even further so you know from that perspective transactional history shows that bitcoin needs to reclaim 19,500 support as soon as possible to avoid downsizing to 16350 so if you look at bitcoin right now on the daily chart we're seeing the bitcoin right now is at 19442 and that's just really shy of the 19500 and 500 out there so if we can't hold that then according according to to this tweet we could be seeing ourselves going down at 16350 so from my perspective i think our next support level is about 17502 about a thousand shy from where what uh, what uh, what that tweet is saying. So from that perspective, we definitely need to be holding 19,500. So let's keep an eye on that. So right now we're getting a pretty good pump right now on the four hour. We're seeing a bit of a 1.7% uptick for Bitcoin. So that is looking pretty good from that perspective. So let's take a look at the Doge Awards. What's going on with the Doge right now? So Doge has just been going sideways all day uh, and uh, it's at 0.666. Oh, the sign of the devil out there. So that's pretty dangerous. So from that perspective, it's been really no big news uh, for Dogecoin out there. So that's why I'm not talking about Doge in terms of news and nothing really out there if you take a look at the informatics the into the block for dogecoin let me give that a minute to refresh out there we're seeing that right now dogecoin uh overall we're seeing about 51 uh, are still in the money 40 46 percent out three are neutral right now and we see that 65 percent of dogecoin holds have been holding for more than one year so that's pretty bullish and 31 percent have been holding from one to 12 months and four percent uh less than uh, one month out there so right now it's looking mainly bearish for uh, uh, uh dogecoin right now but as i said earlier the third biggest uh, Bitcoin whale is still picking up Bitcoin like crazy out there. So I'm still pretty positive, pretty hopeful out there. Of course, right now we're seeing some really great news. Looks like on the uh, weekly right now, we've got six days and 14 hours, seeing a little bit of greeny, weeny, weeny. So that's pretty good.
good. So hopefully this greenish will continue and we can definitely get past the 21,000, which is my number capitulation line. It's going to be so sweet if we can do that. See DXY right now. DXY has gone down. So that is pretty good. It was at uh, 105 and some change out there. It's now at 104.926. So that is pretty good from that perspective. We're seeing Shiba Weeby is uh, just banging into my uh, trend line. So hopefully that's going to act as support and we can see Shiba Weeby going up as a 10 right now from that perspective. Uh, for Ethereum, Ethereum has just been going sideways at 10.73. We definitely need to see uh, Ethereum going above 1,200 in the house. So that definitely needs to happen. If you take a look at the Leverage Apes in the house, let me give this a minute to refresh. I mean, I'm expecting it all quiet on the Western front because it looks like the Leverage Apes are, you know, they're enjoying their uh, their Independence Day out there. So it's about $60 million worth of leverage apes out there. And we're seeing that mainly about 23,000 traders got wrecked. So it's, it's almost nothing. And we're seeing that on the hour time frame, it's shorts. On the four hour, it's shorts, guys. On the 12 hour, it's also uh, about 50%. So we're seeing mainly shorts getting wrecked right now. But the volumes are really, really light. That's really not going to push a Bitcoin anywhere too soon, guys. So from that perspective, just take a look at this from my friend Dragon in house. If you go back to uh, September 2021, we we did see uh, some support line with some support lines around about the uh, the uh, 13,000 level, the 15,000, 9, 15, 9,004, and the 17,690. So, you know, if we get a rejection to the downside, we could be seeing that we could be going down to these levels. If Bitcoin can't hold the 19,500 level, we could be seeing a rejection down to these levels. We definitely don't want to see that. We definitely want to see a nice bounce to the upside. And our next target is 23,000 if we can see the 19,500 holding. If not, guys, be warned. Be be uh, respective that the market makers may try to push it back down to these levels at the 13748, the 15904, and the 17690. So the market makers did push Bitcoin to those lows back in September 2021. So just keep an eye on that. Those we have actually been here before, guys. So that is something that you guys can keep in mind. Let's take a look at the total crypto markets right now. So we're seeing the total market cap is about 890. It's up a little bit from this morning, but not too much. We're seeing that the volumes are super light and the Bitcoin dollars is also coming up somewhat. So let's take a look at the total carnage and also right now we're seeing that Bitcoin is up about 2%. So that is pretty good. We're seeing Ethereum is up about 1.14%. And that is at uh, 1072 in house. So from that perspective, we're seeing BNB, Beastcoin is up about 1.42%. We're seeing uh, ADA is up as well. Solana, Wana Wana is up. And we're seeing uh, Shiba is up. And the Doge Warrior is up 1.77%. So let's go Doge. So from that perspective, it's going to bring, bring this uh, video to a close. So hopefully we'll see some goodness uh, as the week opens up in America. And guys, do go follow me on my Twitter, guys. We got about, uh, right now we're sitting at about 4,573 followers. Go down there, boot the likes, comment up a storm, subscribe, don't give a Super chats. Don't forget to check out my links, guys. Definitely, you've got to you, you've got to have a plan, and the plan is you've got to secure your crypto out there, guys. Software wallets, hardware wallets. I'm recommending the Nano Ledger, guys. Get it, get it, get it. And uh, guys, don't forget to get the merch, guys. Gear up the OG gear. We've got hats, hoodies, bags, cups. Cups and stuff, guys. So get it, guys. Gear up and all that goes to charity. Remember that. So guys and gals, just want to say God bless you, each and every one of you out there. Have a great day. This is OG from Bad Guy saying kiss your wife, love your, love your kids, love your neighbors, spread a little love and joy out there. I know that uh, Bitcoin's got you depressed. Bitcoin's got you down, dee, 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 down, down. But cheer up, guys. I love you guys. God bless each and every one of you. You and you out there. God bless you all. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.